Hey, Back to Basics. This is Tanya, and I am your Tuesday vlogger for the Back to Basics WLS channel. Um, this week, I think I'm going to um, actually talk about a topic that Dana talked about on um, Saturday on her vlog, which is the carb monster, and asking for um, what other people do to combat the carb monster. And um, I have to say for myself, when it comes to carbs, I find that I kind of go through cycles where sometimes I'm craving them real bad and sometimes I'm not. And I don't know if I've necessarily found the rhyme or reason to it. I do think the more carbs you have, the more you want. But this is something that I do that I have found that's helped me um, when I'm really like craving carbs real bad. I got two things. Um, one, if I'm really wanting something like crunchy, salty, like potato chips... And it's like, you know, that's something that you can kind of mindlessly eat. I like popcorn. Uh, you know, I love popcorn. Um, it's stuff you can mindlessly eat, and you can eat a lot of it because it just slides right down. Um, what I've started to do, um, and it's n normally I can do it. Sometimes I don't, but I try whenever I can. Is that if I really have something I really, really want, I'll make myself have um, solid protein first. So that I fill up on like three to four ounces of some kind of meat, chicken, pork, turkey, whatever, whatever it is, um, egg whites. Um, so that way I'm pretty much full before I eat whatever the carb is. So if it's like potato chips or crackers or popcorn, um, I'll get full on the solid protein and then I'll allow myself to have whatever that carby food was that I wanted. It's usually something crunchy. Um, and I can't eat very much of it because I'm so full off the protein, but I do get the satisfaction of being able to eat whatever it is, and I don't go overboard with it. Um, I've learned to not say anything is forbidden. I went through a phase with, you know, I love peanut butter, and I tried to say I'm never going to eat peanut butter again because I can't control myself, and it just made me want it so much more. So, now I say I can have anything I want. I choose not to eat in certain things. But I can have pretty much, you know, anything I want. Um, then the other thing that I do, if I want something sweet, because I do find that early on I really didn't have much of a sweet tooth. And I really did not eat fruit or vegetables until about seven months out when my doctor's office, I was having weak spells and my doctor's office said that I needed to incorporate more complex carbs. And even then, I try to stick with berries because of the low um, glycemic index and um and you know low carb veggies and that kind of thing but anyways oh so sweets what i do is i get the sugar free uh cho i like chocolate so i get the sugar free chocolates and they're made with splenda or like sugar alcohols which can cause a little bit of stomach upset so that's kind of motivation to not overeat those sugar-free chocolates and they're pretty expensive so i'll get the bag of like the russell stovers um the individually packed little um like uh they're like peppermint patties like little chocolate peppermint patties or um chocolate covered peanuts and i'll just eat a few and it to me it tastes like the real thing like the real full chocolate it has usually like one or two net carbs in a serving and um, it does have some calories, so you do have to incorporate it into your calories. But you can eat that without the carb um, problems associated with it. And if I go kind of overboard and I eat a little more on Sundays than with, you know, like maybe more, two, two servings instead of one serving, it's not horrible because it's like two carbs instead of, or four carbs instead of one or two, you know. So um, I don't feel quite as guilty if I eat the sugar-free chocolate than if I was to eat like the full-fledged thing. But even too, I will indulge in, like, if my husband's having M&M's, sometimes I'll have a few M&M's. Again, I think when we demonize the food and we make it like we can't have it, we can't have it, it makes us just want it so much more, and then we eat way more than what we normally would have because it's, like, this bad thing that we're doing, you know? So that's my two suggestions. Try the sugar-free candies. Um, I also do suck on the sugar-free, like, Brock's Lemon Drops or... um. The Werther's sugar-free, um, there's like the, the coffee-flavored Werther's and the caramel-flavored Werther's, um, and those are really good. You know, I'll, I'll do like maybe one or two of those. I, I For a while, I was doing one or two a day, and now I've kind of gotten away from it. You know, I go through phases of food, but, um, but that's my suggestions for the sweet stuff. And then for the crunchy stuff, fill up on solid protein first, and then have a few of the crunchy things, and you tend to not go so overboard and get, you know, the portion control out of whack, so... That's my suggestion.
questions for combating the carb monster and make a video response or let us know what you do if you do something different because of course we can all learn from each other and again if you have any suggestions for topics for the back to basics channel let us know and we'll be happy to talk about it bye guys see you all next tuesday bye